Okay, so we're gonna make a crane. You start this with three quarter by quarter or any other thing in the same proportions. Take a little less than a cube, i.e. a little less than three quarters of an inch, I'm thinking about five eighths. You go one, two, three. Uh, okay, that again. Then you come over here, same again, about five eighths, a little less than your uh, square. And I'm going to stop there, I'm not going to do any more, I'm going to come here and around that now I'm going to come here and that's thick so I'm going to chop with the side then here I'm going to go flat and those chops where you have those little indentations actually work as full as themselves and it makes it get flatter a lot quicker. So now we're going to taper down the beak. Do this half on, half off over the edge of the material. So you get this taper down. As you can see, I'm not damaging the anvil or my hammer by hitting it because I'm using my round die. Then I can hit this with my I'm actually still on the anvil here. I'm not half on, half off. I'm just working this down. Getting that nice and pointy. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so here we come. Take a nice high heat on the 45 like this. There we go. We're using our round. And just come up there. Okay, so now we're going to tape down the neck. Okay, I'm going to punish, 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 punish. Now I'm going to sweep this. So on my 45, hit that, then I go sweep, 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 and it gets that effect in there. Hit that. That effect in there. We can then work the rest up here. Let's do five. Here we can even sometimes take it right to oxygen, where it's more of a square. And really get it funky. Look good on that. I don't have my brush in here. What I would do right now is brush it. Right there, there's a head. Uh, this heat, punch your eye. So I'm going to line it up. Drop my hammer. There you go. That's it, you can see a little definition there. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and clean those little um, bits out. And you can see I'm just doing it there more than is necessary but there you go you can also come here and on the side and do that okay so it's best to lay out your punching at a lower heat but I did not have the opportunity so you find the middle with little taps check yes you are in the middle then Hit once, take it out. Hit once, take it out. Once, take it out. Oh, see, I'm a little skew with. Hit once, take it out. And then when you feel around all this time, there we go. I felt my anvil. Probably went a little too far. You hit that back. Then you re-establish your shine. Like that. And your mark. Then. As you can see there's a plug, it's not quite reached the anvil, I hit till I reach the anvil. Then you find a wood block, 
or this is good if you can support that just in there like that. Just give it a little freckles out. Okay, so in a small side, this is my small side, you find it and then work until you have a little bit of black. Oh, I just, right here. Okay. When you're drifting a hole, it's best not to force it at all. If you force it, you can crack it and it doesn't have a straight, but it also won't get free. And here, this hole is simply about aesthetics. So I'm going to find the hole which it needs to go in. Do this one here. I'm going to put a little bit more into there like that. I'm going to let the heat wick back into there. Then in the other side, I'm going to finish the hole off and force it. This is when I will force it. Nope. Now, I'm just going to put this through. See how gently. Okay, so what we do now is you put a little tail in there. And I'm going to mark it out immediately. I'm not expecting to get through this. So. There you go, that's the mark. I mean, I can hit a few times harder and go up there. And then put in the vice. I, I should mount this vice down. You can't move down. But there. You get this. And work it in. Reaching the end, but not exceeding the end. And then this down, and then. Okay, so here what we're going to do, we're going to work over here, bring this down. I can't hit there because I might hit that. So I'm going to hit this one flat. This material is just under a quarter in that, and those proportions aren't really good enough for this. I'm going to come in here and now hit on my half hammer. Half on, half off. Okay, now what I'm going to do, get a few more times over here. I'm going to come here with this hands. up. And when my cool hand starts and stops here, I'm going to attack that, bring that down. Now here I can chop at that. I'm going to bring, I want to bring this down a bit. So with my flat here, I'm just going to work my shoulder and boom. Here, flat. So I'm gonna, I can't hit half on there, but I can hit on the angle here. Chopping into this. It's also extending my leg, making the leg more graceful. And then out, vanish, 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 vanish. And here I can make this slightly more round because it's not a square. I'm taking it round. But here. Octagon, and I'm taking this to round, a roughish round. I mean, I say a roughish round because you can see I'm moving up a lot of blurring the hips. And bend it a bit like that. I'm not. There we go. Yeah, that about. That's not going to make really. Uh, next heat, heat here, grab this in tongs and go. Should bend just there. There we go. Right. So 
put this in the vise like this. We're gonna grab this and just what do we say one of it forward like that and it's easily back. So then I manage with this. Have it. That there is a crane. Brush that up for you. 